Hello hi, and welcome. Welcome to Emerald Box. This video is all about how to install Blender Kit and how to input your actual code that you need to upload your models. You can install it for free. You can download models for free, but you can't upload models without the code. So we get okay, how what's the process and how do you go about doing it? These are basically screenshots of the process, so I'm going to show you. The version of Blender I'm running is 3.41, as you can see. I'm going to use, as I said, I'm going to use the arrow keys, but I'll, obviously I'll show you on the menu what I'm doing. So this is the version, let's go next. Up here, to edit, we're going to actually install the software to blend the kit. Come down the menu, so left click here, come down the menu, left click on properties. Okay, so left click properties. When you go into properties, as you can see, I've already got mine installed. Okay, what you would do is you would click on install. Once you've downloaded it, so once you've downloaded it, so when you download it, it goes into downloads. That's where it goes to. So it's here. If you haven't got it, just go to BlenderKit.com. Download it. When it downloads, it goes into your downloads. Okay. So once it goes into your downloads, once it goes, once you've got it, click here, install. Okay. Go here. Downloads. Left click it. Left click install. Once you do that, it installs like this. Once it's installed, left click on here, left click the arrow. The box will open. Now, in here, look, as you can see, I've got no code in here. There's an API code or key, however you want to look at it. To, to get the key, to get the key itself, it's actually on your profile. If you've actually created an account on here, you don't have to go nowhere. If you look here, look, mine says login. Okay, I've deleted the key to show you. Okay, so if you click here, it says login. Mine says login, no one will say sign up. So sign up. When you sign up, you will log into your profile. Okay, so I'm gonna go next. Okay, this is just the actual thing with Look, this is me logged in. So okay, so basically I'll go back, but I'll show you. So click here, sign up if you haven't got it already. If you've already got it in your profile, copy your key, put it in here. I'll go forward and show you. This is me logged in, look, everyone bug box. So I'm gonna click here. Now, if you not haven't got an account would say sign up okay or this box here if you, if you haven't already signed up it's actually up here you see here look, my name is here a1 bubble box okay so i'm going to click on my profile i'm going to click here so you're going to click here you're going to click sign up okay so i'm going to go next i'm, I'm going to click on my profile and i'm going to go click this one say sign in okay when you, when you go to sign in on the profile here okay i'll show you it goes here look okay so once you click sign in or sign up, click on your profile, sign in to the actual account itself. When you sign in, as you can see, this is my account. Look, this is a one bug box. Okay, you can see I've uploaded the fence. Now, I'm going to talk about this part. It says uploading, waiting, validation. The validation process takes about two days. What will happen? If you look, at the, look up here, look at the models, it says full, free, private model upload. Okay, after about two days, somebody will click on my profile on this. They'll download it, they'll try it, they'll test it, and then they'll obviously verify that it's fine or it's not. I've uploaded about 10 models, every single one of them is not validated for some reason. My models work on Cry Engine and Unreal Engine, so I know the models are perfect, so I'm going to leave them models on that site. So any, any, any model that don't want to upload on this site, that's pretty fine. Anyway, let's go back over here. Click on this little blue box over here. This is my obviously logo. So click on your profile. You'll see a box open. Oh, this look, this is how it opens. Now just down here, look, it says API key. That's what you need for the blender kit. You can press this the red button, because that red button there resets that code. Hopefully this code should be up here somewhere. Out well away from that button. Hopefully. Or basically really your email account should be here and this should be up here. So anyway, left click at the end of here. Left click, hold it, drag it, right click, and then left click, copy it. So copy, copy the code. Okay. So you copy the code to Blender. Click edit. So the edit opens. Left click properties. Okay. Back to this thing here, the Blender kit. Left click. When it opens, left obviously now you can left click and then right click paste. Paste your code in. If that doesn't work, if you can't copy and paste it that way, left click it, press Control V, press Control V, and you put your code in, 
all you have to do once you've done that, turn that on the keyboard and then close this, close it. Okay, now once you've closed it and it's back to even, well that, that didn't do nothing. Now I'm going to show you, this is what you need to do. Okay, now I'm going to show you. Okay, if you click over here, see here, look. It's got a little tag right here, the little, there's a little tag right there, click that. This menu opens. Okay, come down the menu and click on this thing, where it goes upload. Okay, so if you click on the tag where it says upload, look, it says upload, you can't upload nothing. Okay, so what you gotta do is come over here, left click on add, click mesh, go to cube, then you click that. If you watch down here, because you're actually on upload, watch all this change. Okay, so you're gonna click mesh, cube, it can be anything you want, I'm gonna say cube. There's my cube. Now here's the options to upload that cube. Okay, now all you gotta do is fill in the red parts. When you click this top box, this top box gives you three options. It gives you categories and things like that. So basically just it's already it's already filled in for you. Basically you just gotta click on the right ones. Okay, you can have a private or public. Okay. Obviously if it's in public everyone can see it. If it's private only you can see it and you can share it with your friends, mates and whoever. So anyway, I'll leave one on public. You can choose full. Now the full the full is for, for paying members on the site. And free is for everybody. Okay. So you give it a name. Give it say like a name, let's say box. Now this one, this one, and this one, you can fill them in actually on the website itself, which is better. But for now, we are temporary. Just give it a name, box. The description, just call it box. Doesn't matter. Tag, call it box too. And if you hover, if you actually hover over here, it says put an exclamation mark. Sorry, not an exclamation mark. It says put a comma at the end of each one. So you put box, I don't know, room, whatever you want to put on there. So a couple of tags before, so like that. If on this one, you can generate a picture. I'm going to talk about this in part two of the video. So, so basically, you can learn this part. So now, at the moment, if you've actually done what I've just told you to do, your profile actually activated now in two days when you click on this little arrow here i haven't i haven't done the picture for it so i can't show you well if you left click on here if i go back i can show you let's go back to my profile i'm just going back to my profile so i can show you like this look after two days after two days you'll see when you, when you click your profile you'll see your name here once you see your name here you're good to upload you can upload you try to upload before that your upload won't go up and you're thinking well it's not working the box told me lies i haven't lied to you yet it takes two days for the account to actually activate so i'm going to go back to where i was give me a second okay as i said so obviously once you've got the model and you're going to upload it you have to click on here wait two days until you can actually see your profile in there as soon as you see that you'll know you're ready to actually upload the model Providing the model is ready to upload. While you're waiting for the two days, click the model, your model. UV map it. I said in part two of the video, I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, so we can get ready for the upload. So in part two, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to UV map it. If you already know, fantastic. You need to add a texture to it. Fantastic, if you already know. And then what the process is, packing it, to send it onto the site. Okay, so you'll see that in part two. So... I'm going to next video, it says here, look, see part two, uploading my model, thanks. As you say, thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, don't subscribe, it's up to you. Thanks very much for watching, see you soon, bye.